and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, March 24th, 2016. Just going to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Thank you for your patience with that. So as regular viewers well know, we always start our videos off with a look at the Russell Index, and for that we use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. Looking at it on a five-year monthly time frame, we're stepping back to get that broader perspective. We're keeping an eye on this blue channel. Why? Because the blue channel offered very significant support, support and resistance for the Russell through all of 2014. So here is the candle shaping up so far for the month of March. Thinking being that if it was support through all of 2014, it may be significant resistance here. So we're keeping a very close eye on this very important area. Having said that, this is encouraging. Uh, this candle from the month of February with the long wick and the thrust in the candle that pushed price up into this area. But we need to see that follow through. We do not want to see the Russell making a lower low. So keeping an eye on this area for sure. There are a couple of headwinds to this market that I want to, uh, or charts I should say, that are very important to me that I want to show you in a minute. But wanted to say that uh, the markets are closed tomorrow. It's uh, Good Friday. So the markets will be closed. We had a couple of important numbers come out this morning. I'm filming this at about quarter to nine. At 8.30 we had a durable goods report come out that I think was a bit of a disappointing report to the markets. We had jobless claims. Uh, the estimate was for 268. The number came in at uh, 265, so that's not too far off. Uh, the other thing worth noting this morning is James Bullard, uh, Fed Governor James Bullard, is speaking uh, right now as I film in New York. He's been sending a few mixed messages to the market, so worth paying attention to what he has to say, re-interest rates. And he seems to be chiming in on perhaps a rate increase being likely in the month of April, um, but he flip-flops on that, or the Fed does anyway, so it's a bit confusing. Worth noting. Um, so there's the Russell. I wanted to point out where we are, as we did on in our Tuesday video, where the Dow is. So again, important area. We've come right up to that prior swing high, and we are right here right now. So the futures are off as I film this by about 90 points on the Dow. Europe is off, Asia was off, so we are in this area and the tone this morning is for risk off. So that's worth paying attention to. I'm going to move back to our Russell chart monthly. Let's look at it on a smaller time frame. Let's go two-year weekly. So nice candle from last week. Um, nice to see us up and over that blue line, but we need to see the follow-through. So will be interesting to see how today goes, but so far it's going to be start off in the red, um, and it is a long weekend. The charts that I wanted to show you, and we highlighted these on Tuesday, the first one is TLT. Uh, let me pull it into a smaller time frame, two year, or sorry, one year weekly, so you can really see it's trading in this wedge. For the most part, TLT was sideways, but the prior move was higher. So let's go five year, let's go monthly. So you can see that this bond TLT represents the ETF for the long bond, for the most part in an uptrend. It traded in this wedge, it broke out, traded sideways for several months, but now we are in this little mini wedge happening right here, right now. So I'm really paying attention to this area here. I just wanted you to see that, that for the most part it's in an uptrend so should the uptrend continue, it might make sense that it resumes in this area here. So I'm going to move it away from the bigger time frame to the smaller one, one year weekly, and show you the wedge, and show you the bullish candle from last week, and the start of a breakout here this week. So should this be the beginning of a resumption of the uptrend in TLT, Typically, that does not bode well for the market overall because it's a risk-off instrument. The other one I wanted to show you is the U.S. dollar, and this is the most important chart to me right now. 
Again, I'm going to pull it back to the longer time frame. I want to show you that the US dollar, as we all well know, started to move up and out of this great big wedge, long-term wedge, in the middle of 2014. And wow, look at the move in the dollar. Huge move. Very disruptive to uh, global markets, especially the emerging markets. So moved out of this wedge. We're looking at it on a five-year monthly. Created this other wedge. Broke out of that other wedge. And this is where we are right here right now. So it's forming another wedge right here. So my concern is that if the dollar continues to strengthen here, the US dollar, and move out of this wedge, that it might pose problems for the global markets, uh, in particular the emerging markets. So that's important to me. I'm going to move it from the five-year to the two-year weekly because I really want you to see so far for the week, and today is the last day of the week, we've got a Harami forming. Um, which can be a signal of a change of direction. So meaning that for the last several weeks, the dollar has been trading lower. But if this Harami completes and opens higher next week, it would suggest that the trend down may be coming to an end and the dollar will resume its strength and move out towards this trend line. I am going to include with today's video this little definition of a Harami from Investopedia. But you can see this is the body from last week on the dollar. And this gives you a really good explanation of what a Harami is. This was last week on the dollar. This is this week on the dollar. So smaller body. It's a, it's the pregnant baby. The, it's a Japanese candlestick. Uh, uh, the Harami is pregnant mother, meaning this is the baby, this is the mom, this is the tummy, <laughs> whichever way, I know it sounds funny, but whichever way it it breaks next week would be the trend reversal. So downtrend, harami, resumption of the prior trend, which in the case of the dollar would be higher. So I'll include this with today's video. So getting back to the UUP chart, let me pull it into a one-year weekly I'm paying really close attention to this chart and which way this ends up moving next week. Um, so with that, I'm not going to put any uh, charts forward this morning. I think it's time to be careful. Um, and with that, I will leave you and we will put out a video next Tuesday. Enjoy your Easter long weekend. Thanks very much.